We're with Kevin Crone from Visalia Ride. Kevin, how are you doing today? Doing good. Doing good. Hey, let's talk about um, coming back through the, your, in your second season of professional baseball. How's it been so far? It's been good. You know, I've, I grew up around the game, so I, I kind of had a had, knew what it was like to play professional baseball. I've always wanted to do it, and um, you know, to get the, you know, the first half seasons, it is what it is. But when you get in that first full season, you get a taste of what everything's like, and um, you know, I've really I've really enjoyed my time getting to develop new friendships with my teammates, and um, you know, just especially being in one spot the whole time so far, having moved anywhere. Um, you know, you get to develop relationships and just really perfect your craft, and it's uh, it's been fun. Now you're playing out here in the Cal League, which is known as a hitter's league, but your stats, you're having some good stats, though. I mean, I, how do you enjoy the stats that you're having? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's it's good to have production, and, and, you know, when you go into a league, you try not to think about if it's a hitter's league or a pitcher's league or whatever it may be. Obviously, you know in the back of your head um, that it is a hitter's league in the California League, but you still try to produce as best you can regardless of where you're at. And, um, you know, I've, I've enjoyed some success. I've had my, had my uh, struggles as well, but um, it's, it's been fun to, to put up some numbers and, and help the team win. Now, you got some Arizona ties going back to Mountain Point, your high school. So how important is it to you to come through the Dimeback system? Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, I grew up a Dimebacks fan. I lived in Arizona for almost my whole life before college, so I was a big Dimebacks fan. I had a lot of friends that were Dimebacks fans, so um, getting drafted by them and coming up through their system, that's, that's uh, really fun for me, and my friends always – Give me a hard time about it. Some of them that are playing in other organizations that they, they they're kind of jealous that I get to be in my hometown. So um, it's it's nice. Yeah. Now um, with you guys, you won the first division, first half of the division. So how nice is it knowing that you already made the playoffs, but you still have still unfinished business in the second half? Yeah, I mean uh, the goal whenever whatever you're at, the goal is always to win a championship, whatever level you're at, and um, you know to secure a playoff spot. That's awesome, and and you know gives us some momentum going into the second half. And uh, hopefully we can do it again and, and see what happens when we get to the postseason. Now let's talk about this. The, the season, it's a grind. I mean, we're in 100-plus games in the season, plus the off days, the workouts, everything go in. And then if you're fortunate enough to make the playoffs, you've got some family ties you can reach out to. Talk about how, how important it is to actually have your brother. You can reach out to him, being CJ, being in the Angels organization. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's one of those things. We grew up together at the field every summer with my dad, and, and we, got to, we got to, you know, hang out with the team and see what it's like for their daily routine every single day. Um, gave us a little taste of what it was going to be like. And then once you get into pro ball, you haven't really experienced anything like it. Obviously, like you said, 100 plus games, um, you know, it takes a toll and, and you got to learn how to deal with it independently. But um, you can also, I, I've reached out to my brother a couple of times just to, you know, to ask how he took care of certain things, how he handled aches and pains on a daily basis, what he did to prepare himself for the games mentally and physically. And, um, you know, those are things that that's an invaluable asset I have is to be able to ask him. And, um, you know, I'm very grateful for that. Now, let's take this a step further. Your dad is actually involved in the game as well. In fact, he just took a position with the Diamondbacks. So how nice is it to not only have him being in the game, but in the same organization? Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, that's a passion. We've a passion for baseball has been something we had our whole lives together with, something we could share as a father and son. And now we get to do that as a father and son and as a coach and player. So, um, you know, it's cool getting to see him every couple of the, every couple of weeks. You know, he's out here. I think I've seen him four or five times this season already. And um, you know, whenever he's here, it's really cool. We get to be, you know, player and coach at the field, and then I get to go grab breakfast or dinner with him after the game. So, um, you know, it's it's always fun to be able to see him, and, and he helps me a ton more more so than I've, I probably realize. Um, but it's great being able to have that relationship with him. Great. Hey, thanks for taking time. Let's good luck the rest of the way. No, no problem. Thanks.